Okay, folks, we're inside the Cougar 368 MBI. MB, I don't know if it stands for mid bunk or mid bedroom. We'll get to that in just a little bit. And the I stands for the island, I'm pretty sure. And then there's an, a loft, so it could be the MBL. But what is nice about this one is this is basically your traditional rear living floor plan, but you still have an extra room. Typically, if you put the room in the back of an RV, uh, there's no back window, and that completely changes the setup. It, it completely changes how comfortable it is and how open it is. So this is your traditional rear living floor plan, but you do have an extra room. And you also have a, a sofa right here. So there's a couple of sofas that make into beds, and one of them's in a private room, and then you have a loft also. So I'm gonna get to all that stuff, but first we're gonna look at this dinette. The location is right here on the campsite. You have windows all the way around you there, so it is very open. You're sitting uh, just out there experiencing a great view of wherever your backyard is, uh, whatever day you're experiencing the RV lifestyle. Here is the theater seats right here. You got a nice view off to the side right there, and of course it's across from that big screen TV. Then in the back, you have the windows, so you've got a really I'm just going to pan around here so you've got windows if you're standing over here behind the island all the way around that window is closed right now so we're not it's probably a little bit of a glare but I just want to show you how open it is it's a little bit cloudy today but uh, the impressive thing is that this solar system this 200 watt solar panel the inverter uh, the uh, system they put in here is very efficient it's still powering these led lights even on a cloudy day there's no battery in this one so you have the sofa in the back it's a trifold sofa that makes into a bed there's a usb and 110 outlet on each side of it over there i don't know if you can see right there and right there that other uh, button up there's a switch for the overhead lights there's a table on each side just like that one with a cubby storage area so you've got that sofa back there then up above it, you've got the uh, beautiful cabinet work there with those glass inserts and uh, well, that looks like stainless steel or brass looking. It's a finished handle. You've got uh, hidden residential hinges. Uh, so it's high quality stuff here, the way they build these things. And uh, take a look at this blackout shade. You All these windows have the same blackout shade. Uh, this one, uh, it uh, shows you how these valances, how efficient they are in terms of blacking everything out. And nobody can see in through the edges. If it's uh, nighttime, you're sitting in here relaxing, you don't have to worry about uh, losing any privacy as you're relaxing in your own home away from home. Or this could be your tiny home, your tiny house. You could be living in this one. You could be working out on the pipeline. Crane operators oil field workers you may want to use this one on your property you may be a snowbird wouldn't come down here stay in rockport texas and south texas uh, experience uh, our uh, climate during the winter we get a lot of people down here and you're welcome down here snowbirds we welcome you to texas we welcome you to uh we welcome your business so that is the uh fireplace that provides ambiance and heat it's electric so it's not plugged in right now because we're not hooked up to shore power but we are hooked up to the uh, 200 watt solar panel up on the roof which is powering all these lights you see these storage cabinets up here i'll go ahead and open it up these beautiful hardware right there you got some storage back there little storage areas up there above the microwave and you can see the uh cooktop and the oven residential fridge so this one's going to have an inverter so you could keep that fridge going with the solar panels as you were the solar panels you're going down the roof and the solar panel is expandable it's a 200 watt solar panel but it's pre-wired if you want to add additional solar panels you can see the pantry space there and you've got the same thing down there also is that one is closed but plenty of pantry space that's the door for the bunk the bunk room but we're going to take a look right here at this island no man is an island 
this is an island though look at that beautiful stainless steel sink and residential faucet with this uh, sprayer that comes out you can spray off your vegetables and plates and whatever it is you want to spray off you've got storage down below there a little cubby area right there you could put a leaf there if you wanted to there's four drawers right there for your silverware different knickknacks kitchen gadgets whatever you have and there is a plug over here so you could plug in your uh, kitchen appliances right there um, in there sorry about moving the camera so much and then there's another plug right over here this one has USB and 110 so this one you just push this little button and it is flush with the counter if you don't want that in your way but you want to pop that up just pull it up and you've got 110 and USB so you've got the microwave oven if you don't feel like uh, if you want to heat something up this one you can heat up some cheese right here get you a nice bowl of hot cheese you're gonna be set bring it all the way down from Wisconsin have some good cheese say hello to all the Green Bay Packer fans you aren't the nicest fans in the world when it comes to how you treat the other opposing team but uh, we welcome your business if you're up in the uh, Wisconsin area thank you for the great cheese that you're providing that's what I do on my channel I welcome everybody okay look at that cabinet work here we're in the MB this is the mid bedroom some people might call it a mid bunk that is a trifold sofa that's similar to the one that is in the back of the coach sorry about the glare there on the window so as a matter of fact I will close this uh, shade right here so we can have a look sorry about the uh, lapse in uh, there we go so you can see inside here got that I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off reduce that glare also so you can see this sofa there's a light up there and that's on a slide and then as you're sitting in the sofa you can see you've got storage there place for a TV you could put a, a LED monitor there a computer monitor You've got some cabinets over there. You've got a wardrobe right there. So if you have somebody that needs to stay in this room, they've got a place to keep their stuff, watch TV, hang out, relax, get a little space. We all get along a little better. A little absence makes the heart grow fonder. There's some people I'd like to become very fond of if I could get enough absence from them, but it hasn't happened. But uh, just joking around here. Don't want to pick on anybody. I don't want anybody picking on me. All right, so when you first walk in the door, well, so let's just back away here and take a look at the, that's the entry there to the mid bedroom area right there. And uh, so there's the door coming into the coach. So I'm gonna turn around. If anybody gets dizzy, close your eyes. I'm turning around. So you can see this is the rear living area, traditional rear living, all the windows. Look at the ceiling there. Beautiful lighting fixtures, ducted AC. And then when you first come in the door, there is a coat rack right here. That's very convenient. Hang up your jacket, a little hook for your keys right here. You can uh, throw your cell phone right over here if you want to. You probably want to keep it with you. We can't be without our cell phones. There is the breaker box down there and a couple of steps. We're going up the steps and there's a ladder right here. So you put this ladder out and you go up the ladder this is a huge huge area up here I'm going to turn these lights off reduce this glare for a second it's got a skylight up there also you can see it's ducted got lights and uh, there's a window so it is uh, a comfortable place to hang out for your guests or if you want to come up here you can use it for storage whatever you want to do some people I have customers that have a loft like this and they keep some dogs up there at night. They just, uh, you could put a little, uh, you could put a little gate here to keep them from getting out. You could put your dogs up here. If you want to take this mattress out. It's, it's your RV, you can do whatever you want to with it. Uh, it says the maximum load capacity is 800 pounds. So that's gonna uh, work for 
everything you have that weighs less than 800 pounds. Here is the in command system. Uh, so the uh, what this does is it's on solar right now, so uh, uh, there's no battery. If there's a battery, it'd be easier to uh, demonstrate this. But basically, it controls your uh, lights. You can download an app on your phone and get the same touch screen, but it'll control your lights, the air conditioning, the awnings, the slide outs. You could be sitting outside, uh, just pick up your phone, your priority holding on to it, and uh, put your awning in or out. You could turn the AC, cool it down a little bit, or turn the heat up, whatever you want to do. Now we're in the bathroom now. Look at that well positioned toilet. I'm going to sit down, rest my feet for a second, and yes. This one has plenty of room. If you're, if that's one of your hot button issues, you've got clearance on the sides, you've got leg room, it's got plenty of room with that toilet. Don't need to go over that anymore. Got some really nice looking cabinets in here. There's a towel rack there. It's very homey. If you're looking for a place to live, make this your rolling, I would say tiny home, but it's not that tiny. This one is pretty good size. So uh, the shower, Again, we've got these clear shower doors. If you're a little, if you're a, an uninhibited bather, that might be good. If not, just let them fog up a little bit. Get some natural frosting on there on the windows. And uh, headroom in this one, let's see, I'd say you could be 6'4 and be just fine up here. But I'll measure it. If it's close for you, just let me know. Uh, you can see the hardware. Little shower head uh, this is a uh, sort of a faux marble shower with a seat get the nice uh, faucet there they really do have nice cabinets here in these uh, cougars nice big mirror right there you can see that uh, that's on your medicine cabinet it's big I'm kind of close so it's not really showing it and that and they did put two lights here uh, so I'm going to turn them off so you can see there's two lights right there. I don't want to put the glare in the camera, but uh, that uh, you can really get a good look at yourself in the morning. Whatever time it is, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be morning. All right, so here we are in the bedroom. You're in the bedroom with Duke in the 368 MBI. The windows on the side of the bed up there by your where your pillows would be are closed right now. The shades are down. So if the, uh, what do they say, if the shades, if the house is rocking, well, if your shades are down, you'll have more privacy and it'll be darker. So uh, you can open those up to get a peek at what's going on as you greet the new day. If you want to plug something in, you've got USB and 110. That is a, uh, that yellow sticker says in, I'm going to do this right here so you see it, inverted outlet. That means uh, that's running from the solar charge uh, from the inverter which is being charged by the solar panel up on the roof. So if you're out boondocking, you can plug something in right there. And notice in the closet, there is a table right there. So, because some people would complain there is no uh, table next to these uh, beds for a CPAP machine, but you just open up the closet and there it is. There's the plug, there's the USB connections. So it's very functional and well thought out i gotta give uh, kudos to the keystone engineers I'm sending them out over the world wide web on youtube great job guys and girls ladies and gentlemen you have a nice closet here place for your hat boxes boots costumes all your uh, clothing and accessories you can put right in there and then you have a uh, i'm gonna move the camera a little bit so hold on you have a nice dresser chest of drawers right there this is the emergency exit if you need to make a an ejection from the RV in a speedy fashion this is where you you pull those levers and hold on because you don't want to break an ankle or anything all right so you, you probably never have to do that but it's nice to know you put a washer dryer in there or you just got a ton of storage so because you've got the washer dryer connection sorry about the glare and then up above where that washer dryer is, well, these are nice cabinets and nice hinges here. So that's what you're looking for if you're going to be doing some uh, 
using it more than just occasionally on the weekends. This is the kind of RV. Actually, this is, I'll tell you something about the Keystone Cougar. Thanks for sticking with me all the way to, about, to the end of the video. Uh, but this one is rated for full-time use. You're not going to find that in, I don't think it's out there in the market in this uh, price range of RVs. You generally have to go to the Montana's, Solitude's, the high dollar RVs. They're all going up in price. We know that, but uh, this one is rated for full-time use. Hey, here's my contact information. I'm Duke, the video host here. But really, what I am, I'm just somebody here uh, willing to be your friend and help you out if you have questions about uh, the RV lifestyle, any of the videos, uh, any of the RVs featured on my channel. And let's say you, uh, you're interested in making a deal. I'm in the Houston, Texas area. Uh, work at a big dealership here. We've got 18 campsites with full hookups so if we make a deal i'll send you the price the payments the trade-in value on your rig uh we'll do all that and as long as you can give me all the complete description on your uh trailer we'll go through a list on that and just let me know if any furniture's been replaced or uh, there's a soft spot in the floor or whatever and that way i'll give you an accurate number and take pictures and uh everything when you get here it'll just be a question of signing some papers We'll, we'll walk through this rig with you inside and out, show you how everything works, and uh, that'll be done by the service department, but I will tag along, give you any helpful information that I can come up with, and uh, try to get you started with a great ownership experience. And to do that, we're going to invite you to stay in our campground. I'll make a reservation for you, stay for a couple of days. If you have any questions along the way, here's another look at the uh, mid-bedroom. Uh, if you have any questions along the way, you just call me. I'll be happy to come out to your campsite. Uh, if, if it's a technical issue, uh, we can have the service department come out and uh, address it. So uh, thank you again for viewing the video. But the idea is that you get a, a great ownership experience. Just taking a little second look through here. Or you can always go back and watch the video again. And I appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button if you've stuck with me this long. And I'm moving around a little bit more at the end. I was trying to hold the camera still. I got a little out of line here. So here's a place I didn't show you. It's got the hookups for the TV and a backer right there. So you can put a TV right in there. So thank you again for viewing my video. My phone number is in the uh, description below. And I hope you're doing well today. Just remember, don't get too stressed out about anything. If anything's bothering you, just you know, try to keep it in perspective. We're all only on this earth for a short time, so there's no reason to worry. Uh, just enjoy life and uh, hopefully enjoy the RV lifestyle. Or whatever lifestyle you choose. Just get out and do something. Thank you very much.